Hi, this is Brian Eisenberg at SES San Jose 2008, and I'm here with the one, the only, Avinash Kaush, <laughs> Google, Google Evangelist uh, for Web Analytics. Yes, yes, Analytics Evangelist for Google. That, that's yeah. it. Yeah, well, you know, it's been a long day. We're towards the I end know. of the day. <laughs> and close to it. Um, you just finished your session yeah. on um, uh, outrageous goals and, and bouncy icebergs. Yes, yes, Not exactly, exactly. In that order, but I know. Um, definitely very interesting. Share with people what, what that was all about. You know, I... I I think that for a change, what I try to do is talk about search marketing and how you can do better search marketing with Google Analytics specifically. Mm -hmm. And and uh, I talked about some simple things that you can do with bounce rate, like figure out where your websites are not check, you know, caching the mm -hmm. checks that your ads are writing, um, but also talked about how you can do some really advanced data mining using very simple algorithms to identify all the long tail key terms that you should be paying attention to. Because typically what happens is your head is going to have 10, 20 terms, and tail is going to have a million. How do you understand that? And use sort of mathematical algorithms very easily to do that. And then goals, I think that I'm sort of a big fan of truly measuring the complete success of your website. Absolutely. And what I tend to do, what I find is people say, I want to measure conversion rate, you know, conversion rate is 2%, and that's all I'm focused on, but what happened, What did you do for the other 98%? And in that sense, I encourage people to measure micro conversions, assign a goal value, so you can go back to your CEO and say, I need a raise because I actually- Because Avinash said so. Because <laughs> I added, you know, like $10 million worth of direct revenue, but the website also added another $30 million of other value to the company that we are never measuring. And that's really a better way to then go back and figure out if your AdWords campaigns, your ad center campaigns, your email affiliates, if they're indeed delivering the value that your company expects. So that in a nutshell was sort of the, the, the theme of the talk. But I also wanted to highlight a lot of work that people have done outside, uh, our partners, our friends, who've built extensions on top of the GA platform to actually build really cool stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that really is amazing to me because they're closer to the problem and they can find unique solutions faster than anybody else could, whether it's Google or any other company. Exactly. So I'm very proud of the work that's happening outside Google and I sort of want to showcase that. Now, I mean, you gave a lot of the resources and obviously you gave a little bit of the techniques to do yeah, some yeah. of this. So I imagine some of this will also be found on your blog, right? And, yeah. And you mentioned one story specifically that was really interesting about this company that was um, you know, measuring the micro actions and, and I think it was a Microsoft representative talked about a yeah. research case that showed it wasn't 13 million, but it was like 42 exactly million. Right, yeah. Can, yeah, can you t tell a little bit more about that? Yeah, definitely. I, I wrote a post on my blog about how do you measure complete success using uh, macro conversion, and which and is- tell, the, tell everybody where that blog is. Oh, um, search for Avinash in Google and <laughs> you'll find it, but it's at kaushik.net, K-A-U-S-H-I-K.net. Um, but I wrote a post about macro and micro conversions and, and truly measuring value. And what, it, what happened is in the comments, somebody from Yahoo added a link to, to a study that they had done. And what the study showed is that for this particular person, when they measured the macro conversion, um, the outcome was $13 million worth of revenue. But they, when they measured all the micro conversions, the total impact on the company was $43 million. So you can imagine sort of going to your boss and saying, give me more money to hire an analyst or a new CRM system or, you know, I want to hire Future Now Inc. to do persuasion architecture. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh, I don't have any money. But when you go and tell them, look, we added $43 million worth of value, then they're like, oh my goodness, this is actually accretive. Let's go spend some money in order to improve it and take it to the next level. And it shows how much more impact you actually had, not $13 million, but $42 million. Exactly. The, the um, other thing is, I know you shared the panel with Tom Leung, who's yes. the product manager for yes. Google Website Optimizer, yes. um, and he announced one very important feature, as well as some additional resources that yes. have uh, have come out over the last few months to really help people uh, pick up the momentum. They've been already starting starting to have with Google Website Optimizer. Can you, can you share some of that? Oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm a huge fan of the Google Website Optimizer because it's just so much more fun to do experimentation and testing anyway. Um, so the, the feature that Tom announced, well, he announced a bunch of things, but the big one that he announced was doing some pruning. And what, what happened is a lot of people complain, I don't have enough traffic, and then how do I actually run tests faster and keep iterating and improve my website, which is a strategy I recommend. So what Tom, uh, what, what we've released today is a feature that allows you to look at your data after a few days of the experiment pick the losers, the complete losers, and just kill them. Just prune them out of the test so you know they're dogs and we're just going to get rid of them. And actually, so that allows you to send traffic to the ones that will potentially be winners or the ones that we looks like are or, really going to be winners. And or in Avinash language, they sucked. They, exactly. They're going to get rid of the ones that suck very fast. <laughs> and so, so the thing is, it, it allows you experiment to run faster and for you to get results much faster. It's a very, very important feature. In addition to that, Tom also uh, announced a bunch of uh, other features in terms of how the data is visualized. So you don't have to be a scientist 
to understand multivariate regression, they can be sort of normal person like me who really doesn't know much about this stuff, and actually you can easily interpret the results of complex experiments. Uh, but he also talked about uh, our new program of having um, certified partners such as, such as Future Now Inc., obviously, um, where you can go out and get help so you don't have to do all this by yourself. You can actually get a lot of consultants so that, I always say, you know, you can make mistakes and figure things out in five months by yourself, or you can pay a small amount of money and actually figure everything out in five weeks or less. And then so he announced a bunch of those things. Um, obviously, uh, Tom also talked about uh, your new book that's out, um, the A-B testing. Mm -hmm. We're very, very proud of it, and, and everybody should go get 10 copies um, because it's a good book. And it's also uh, in the same way where, you know, rather than figuring everything out, I think you've written a book completely about the optimizer, so which means that you can actually learn faster and move faster, which is very important to us because a lot of people think of testing and experimentation as a one-time deal, but it really isn't a one-time deal. It's a lifetime engagement. I want to marry you exactly. and spend my life with you. Process. Exactly. And, and that's why using resources from consultants or using resources like your book and otherwise um, actually are very good at speeding up the process much more quickly. So Avinash, uh, you just finished the session. Where are you headed to? Oh, I think I might go to this Google Dance thing. I'm not <laughs> sure if it's any good. <laughs> I'll see you there. See you there.